into a new era. Senegal has entered a new era of mass transport after Monday's launch by President Macky Sall of an express train with a 115,000 passenger capacity per day that will ease the country's transportation conundrums. December 27, 2021 was a great groundbreaking day for Senegal. Never since its independence has the country overseen a railway project to its natural completion. For President Sall, the regional express train, TUR, carries the ambition of progress, well-being and modernity for his country. The TUR, which is linked to the plan Senegal Emergent, PSE, is the result of an innovative financial arrangement based on a 2% concessional loan spread over 25 years, according to a statement seen by ARPA. Its cost is estimated at 780 billion CFA francs excluding taxes, including 76 billion for the release of rights of way and 10 billion for social projects. The Islamic Development Bank, IDB, 197 billion CFA francs, the African Development Bank, ADB, 120 billion CFA francs, France total, 196.6 billion CFA francs, the French Development Agency, AFD, 65 billion CFA francs, the Treasury, 53.6 billion CFA francs, the Budgetary Support, 65 billion CFA francs, the Public Investment Bank, BP France, 13 billion CFA francs, have participated in the project, the financing of which has been completed by the Senegalese state. The regional express train runs on electricity and thermal power, running on two standard tracks and one metric track of 36 km each, it has a speed of 160 km per hour. In total, 14 localities will be served between Dakar and Diamniadio stations for a journey of 45 minutes. Fares are set at 500 CFA francs, Dakar Theroye, 1000 CFA francs, Dakar Rufisk, 1500 CFA francs, Dakar Diamniadio, and 2500 CFA francs for first class. Seven days a week, a four-car train with a maximum capacity of 565 passengers will run every 20 minutes from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. All passengers will benefit from air conditioning, plus Wi-Fi, computer shelves, reading lights and 220 volt sockets for first class passengers. In the second phase of TUR, an additional 19 kilometers of track will be built to link Diamniadio to the Blaise Diagne International Airport, AIBD, by the end of 2023. Eventually, the train will also whistle to Imbo and Thies, West. Local impact, the 15 train sets for the regional express train came straight out of the factories of French group Alstom. In the course of realizing this mega-project, which began five years ago, 8,500 Senegalese worked in the construction of the route and 2,000 indirect employees for ancillary and non-traffic services. The state contracted Senegalese companies and several small and medium-sized local firms were also involved, notably in the subcontracting and the supply of materials and their transportation. A rigorous selection process, following a call for tenders for 68,500 curriculum vitae, made it possible to recruit 1,000 direct employees for the operation of the TUR, according to the government. All of the TER's infrastructure belongs to the Senegalese state, which has entrusted its management to the Société Nationale de Gestion du Patrimoine du Train Express Régional Centre. The latter has subcontracted the operation and maintenance to the Société d'Exploitation du TUR, SETER. The contract covers a period allowing for an effective transfer of skills, according to the statement. The Senegalese state holds a 34% stake in SETER and 100% in Center. Decongest Dakar, Dakar, which accounts for 0.3% of the national territory holds one-fifth of Senegal's 17 million people and almost all of the country's economic activities. Traffic jams cost the city 99.7 billion CFA or 152 million euros every year, according to a recent study by the Government Information Office, BIG. According to President Sal, all Senegalese citizens deserve to travel in comfort and safety, controlling their time with a mass transport system that meets the best international standards. The TUR, the first of its kind in West Africa, will create, according to the Senegalese leader, 
new income generating activities in stops and stations and strengthen the vocation of development centers such as Diamniadio, the DS Economic Zone, the new Blaise Diagne International Airport and surrounding localities. Senegal's first regional trains make first journey between Dakar and Diaminiado. After five years and several false starts, the Dakar Regional Express train was on Monday, December 27 open to passengers. The first train took off at 14.15 for the inaugural trip between Dakar and Diaminiado. Though it had been initially announced that the 35km route would take 20 minutes, it took an hour and 15 minutes to reach its destination. Though contrary to what has earlier been announced, some commuters were happy about its efficiency. What I like most is the reduction in traffic jams and the time people used to waste on the road. Now, any inhabitant of Dhaka who is going to leave the suburbs can get to the city centre in record time with a level of safety that we could not imagine. With a frequency of 6 trains per hour and a speed of 16 km per hour, the tour will initially serve 13 stations between Dhaka and the new town of Diamniadio. With a total of 565 seats, tickets range between 502,500 CFA francs, 0.86 minus $4 and 31 cents. The state-owned railway line part of President Macky Sall's plan to revamp the nation's infrastructure by 2035. In a tweet, the Senegalese president said, this December 27, 2021 marks a historic step in our collective march towards an emerging Senegal. A new dawn is dawning on our dear country. The trains will transport 115,000 passengers per day aiming at reducing vehicular congestion in the city. The 1.3 billion commuter railway will link up with express buses, which will operate on reserved lanes on a toll highway that has been in operation for the a decade. Ahead of Monday's inauguration, thousands of residents in Dakar threatened to disrupt the inauguration claiming they have not been properly compensated for homes and businesses that were demolished to make way for the project. We plan to block the start of the tour on the day of the inauguration to demand satisfaction for our grievances, said Ibrahim Assisse, who leads a group of some angry residents. Many are also furious that the relocation they were promised has not yet been done. Yatma DAA of Apex told AFP, 98.8% of people affected by the project have been compensated. Payments began in February 2017. Everything was transparent and done according to international standards, he said. The government says that almost everyone who is owed compensation has received it but accepts that some resettlements have not yet happened. Dhaka's new regional express train, TUR, has begun operating. Launched by President Macky Sall to modernize transport, the project cost more than 1.3 billion and aims to limit massive traffic jams in the West African metropolis. A new $1.3 billion commuter railway in Senegal meant to ease traffic gridlock and modernize a crumbling public transport system made its inaugural journey from the capital Dakar on Monday. The regional express will connect Dakar with Diamniadio an industrial city being built on a dusty plain about 40 kilometers, 25 miles, away. The first new railway since independence from France in 1960 is a cornerstone of President Macky Sall's Senegal Emergent Plan, which includes a new airport, roads, sports arenas and a sleep conference center. The projects have burnished Senegal's image as one of Africa's fastest growing economies. And the air-conditioned trains are expected to reduce pollution in Dakar, where banged-up old buses and taxis hurl clouds of black smoke as they inch towards the capital each morning. Senegalese people deserve to travel in comfort and safety, while controlling their time, with a mass transport system that meets the best international standards, the government said in a statement on Monday. The 45-minute ride with built-in Wi-Fi will cost nearly $3.